Hello, and this is the No Face Movements, February 26, 2013 at 12 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I got breaking news. Um, we're about to have a historical storm system um, that's going to come by and another severe storm system is going to come in right after it. But as you can see right now, we are at a tent through the central plains. Our folks from South Dakota, where the orange is, all the way down uh, through Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma. Our folks in this whole central plain Midwest, warnings and watches, still in effect for the next 24 to 72 hours for a severe storm on top of this storm. As this storm is getting bigger and bigger and stronger. Our, this is not normal. This is not normal at all. Um, how the storm is going, and I got warnings and watches for the New Madrid fault line. All right, this is all parched land. It's all underneath severe drought. All this moisture is going to come in, drop on. It's going to put weight on the plate. All right, folks. And then in the next few days, as the temperatures rise back up, it's going to cause severe flooding. All right, this storm is gigantic. All right, let's move on. Another. So warnings and watches all in this orange. All right, folks. I'm about to show you from Michigan. Um, I am going to put it on the west, uh, western New York, Hawaii, all the way down. This storm is big. All right, and this has been updated on the 25th. I believe this is going to be all red um, later on today when they uh, do another analyst. As we move down, um, moderate down in Europe. I got warnings and watches, and I'm going to show you for uh, Norway, Finland, Sweden. All right, folks, and definitely, definitely warnings and watches for Australia. All right, a lot of people pay attention to Australia. I got a lot of friends that live in Australia, so I'm always on top of it. Warnings and watches for the West Coast. The tropical cyclone came in rusty, dumped a lot of rain. The big cyclone's on its way. It's all purple. I mean, uh, pink. All right, so warnings and watches and warnings and watches for uh, Queensland, New South Wales, and Victoria, uh, Tasmanian. You guys are going to get some rain showers later on this week. Plus, uh, I got warnings and watches for earthquakes. Let's move on. We're going to start off with Australia. And there's the first cyclone hitting Australia. And the second one's right behind it. This one's going to have more of an impact than this one. All right, folks. Uh, North America, we're about to get into it privately. Uh, you see it's moving west to east down here in the Indian Ocean. That's the first tropical cyclone. That's the second one. This one's going to be intensified. All right, folks. As you can see up here, let's go RSOE. It made it's a tropical storm now. So this is a cat. It's going to make it up to category one. I believe it's going to be bigger than category one. I believe it could be a possible two or three, folks. So be prepared in Australia. All right. Um, when we go to tropical map, you guys, the water over here could hold. A hurricane, that's what we call these cyclones, but this cyclone 18 is going to get intensified, folks. It's going to make it at least to level 2 or 3. This is 90 degree water, and plus, it's an anomaly. Look how warm the water is. It's all 10 degrees above its normal. All right, the surface temperature there is around 95 degrees, folks. All right, all right, so warnings and watches out for uh. Severe storms for Western Australia, earthquakes, warnings and watches for severe storms uh, for uh, Queensland, New South Wales. As the system is going to break up and come over there, warning and watches for earthquakes. Let's go to the pressure map. Warnings and watches. This is all the does the TEC? This is all the electrons in the atmosphere. It's pretty severe from Papua New Guinea, Santa Cruz Islands. Around Solomon Islands, all right, folks, be prepared, all right. And its intensity reaches all the way to India. So this whole area, warnings and watches, and I got warnings and watches for the entire uh, Pacific Basin, um, Brazil. As we move over, you guys got a lot of pressure over here in the Caribbean. Warnings and watches for earthquake, um, all blue. Warnings and watches down here uh, in Argentina. Uh, warnings and watches for earthquake. Warnings and watches definitely for earthquake now in Papua New Guinea. That's for severe 13. All, right, all this red 
severe earthquakes, all right, severe storms. That's all the pressure uh, holding on. That's the FOF2 map. The blue is severe too. Because sometimes it only takes a little bit of pressure once it moves out the way to spring back the plates. All right, let's move on. We're about to break down this historic storm, and the reason it's historical is because it's over land and it's forming like this. All, right? all the other storms we've seen that created down here kept on swooping up through the east coast. All right, this time they moved it over and swooping up the central plain through the Midwest, and it's going to be affecting the whole area. And the whole east coast, Midwest, our rain showers, thunders, all right? and we got warnings and watches for Wednesday and Friday. We're about to put that together. Uh, we got a lot of stuff going on this week, but this is a historical storm, very historical. Let's get into this little. Truly a historic blizzard, weather service says. That's a lot of snow, too. All right, folks, it's not over. It just started. Crippling snow to hit Plains State. Philip Prince has been sitting in his tractor trailer, stuck on Interstate 40 near Groom, Texas, for hours. Nine hours and four minutes, to be precise. Prince and his co-driver were due in California at 1 p.m. Tuesday, where they were going to drop off 25,000 pounds of frozen pizza. But when they came upon what the National Sur Weather Service is calling a crippling historic blizzard, it was pretty nasty when we first got into it, he said. But then it turned into a whiteout. Prince, who has been a long-haul driver for nine years, says he's never seen it this bad. As he explains his situation on CNN.com's I Report, the line of trucks is five to six miles long. It's frustrating, the westbound driver said, because he can see snow plows in the eastbound lanes. He hopes to get moving soon. He's down to eating his last box of Lucky Charms. The good news is that it has stopped snowing. The winds are still 55 miles per hour, but the skies are clear through the roads are not. The storm has been moving east during the day dumping record amounts of snow along the way. In Woodward, a town in northeast Oklahoma, firefighters were unable to reach a burning house because they can they ran into four foot snow drifts. The snow plows sent to dig them out also became stuck. Matt Lambauer, the director of Woodward, said Monday afternoon. At this point, we can't keep ahead of snowfall rates, he said. Right now, the situation is pretty critical. All right, folks, that's a lot of snow. What do you think, Mystique? That's a lot of snow, right? Yes. For Texas, I put, I put warnings and watches the other day. As soon as I seen the little cyclone spin of wind, started to pick up. All right, folks, but this is not the only storm that's going to be passing by. All right, I'm calling this uh, Operation Thaw. Um, this blizzard is part of Operation Thaw. I'm just, I'm just calling it that. Um, but what's going to happen is all the snow is going to come in. And we're going to get another storm on top of this one because it's just getting sucked right now. And after the snow comes, all the snow is going to have to melt. And all that water is going to go back into the ground. On top of that, if we look at the map, it's in pink all right, around the central plains. So I got warnings and watches out for earthquakes on New Midge fault lines. We're seeing little earthquakes. All right. Another thing I want people to be out there is about the BP oil spill. They're like, oh, Jen, oh, oh, no face moon. That's years ago. Well, the BP oil spill, they spread a lot of this pesticide and stuff to dissolve the oil or sink it back at the bottom. That's why we've got the Louisiana sinkhole and all that stuff, but that's in another uh, video. But all that stuff lingers in the air for years, and we're going to brew it. And all that stuff is going to sweep up, moving up through the East Coast, sweep up, moving up through the Midwest. It's all coming from the Gulf of Mexico. All right, let's get to uh, the U.S. All right. As we see the storm right now, on this side of the storm, or on Illinois, Kentucky, Tennessee, our folks, on this part of the side of the storm, it's rainy, thunderstorms, and it's going to get more severe in the next few hours. All this stuff, all this moisture is coming straight in from the Gulf of Mexico, and all this moisture is coming in straight from the Antarctica, while the, uh, the North Pole, you know, around Alaska, the Arctic Mass, and all this area right here on the West Coast is stuck in a high pressure that has warm temperature. All right, and in the future, let's go to the future. Let's bring it up. You're gonna see how severe the storm gets. But they're downgrading the real size of the storm. This storm is gonna be humongous. All right, 
and it's there's a possibility later on we're going to see some tornadoes in uh Atlanta uh, around let's say 11:59 later on today between 10 and 11 o'clock today we, we might see some tornadoes right here around Augusta Georgia maybe in South Carolina warnings and watches for that but the storm's going to get increased up here in the northeast too because we've seen heart rings just a few days ago heart rings there and then you can see the system right here is getting pulled down getting sucked in all right the systems are sucking it in this is another big system that's coming in this system is even bigger all right right now in Alaska they should be crippling with this storm all right um as we go here you can see the system that's moving off to the east is trailing it in so it might get split up that's what's going to widen the storm later on today all right, the system is getting sucked in. It's probably going to break up up here in the north, or still might be connected. But this system is going to be bigger than what it is. All right, as we go to the past, let's look for heart rings. We got heart rings right here out of Salt Lake City. Uh, we got heart rings right here out of Washington. All right, I want everyone out there be prepared. When we go to the wind map, let's get to the wind map. So we're going to see severe storms, possible tornadoes down here in the south as you can see the severe lines straight from the Gulf of Mexico even this even though it's coming from the cool it's going over the Gulf of Mexico getting warmed up back into injecting into the storm where we see the circle and if it was weakening we would stop seeing the suction but all this moisture is coming from the Gulf then all this moisture up here is coming from the north and then this moisture right here is sucking down this other system that I'm about to show you alright now this is crazy how low the millibars are in this low system all right, it's like almost like a hurricane getting formed over. Well, not a hurricane, a tropical storm getting formed over land. All right, it goes all the way down about 990, 989. We're right here in the central, and it's just gonna get stronger as all this Gulf air is mixing in with all this Arctic air. All right, the system up here in Alaska is no joke. All right, this system right here in Alaska is no joke. It's getting sucked down. All right, so I want people to be prepared because all the system is doing is sucking in the system from the north. All right, the system, uh, the Gulf of Mexico water, the moisture is just intensifying the storm. All right, and the Greenland block ain't moving, so it's going to take its lovely time to get up there. Let's play this one more time for you folks. Now here's the system. All that water is getting pushed in, all that moisture. So the system is going to grow, get more intense. Definitely around Alabama, Mississippi, Georgia, South Carolina. Warnings and watches out there for tornadoes. And as it's moving through today, we're going to see this thing get more intense. You see the system is moving. Even where this green is, is moving southeast. All right. And as we go to the future, See this big, this is coming from the north. Look how much of this system is just sucking it down. This is going to be another intense flow system coming in right behind. Look how powerful the storm is. Alright, so warnings and watches in this entire area. Still to continue for the next 24 to 72 hours plus warnings and watches for earthquakes. Same with you Australia. You guys got another severe storm on your way, so be prepared. But all of the central plains... All the Midwest, all the East Coast, warnings and watches for the next 24 to 72 hours. All right, the system will be bigger than a lot of systems that we've seen this year, and it's intensified. It's going to be crazy. All right, but um, it's going to turn on one side from snow, from rain to snow, from rain to ice, sleet, snow. All right, but it's going to all freeze from the suction of the coldness. Whatever everyone out there, be prepared. Bug our kids in your home, in your place of business, in your car. You never know when a national disaster or catastrophic event could happen. Please rate, subscribe, comment. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Blogspot, Critterbox, and Godlike Production. Please subscribe to Mystique's and Astrology and Astronomy channel. Just in case this channel ever gets shut down, that's my backup. And please, please be prepared. This is the No Face Movement. Moving, moving to next time. Facing off. Peace and be safe.